left <laughs> four right. You can see me in my beautiful Eswantini costume, which means that we are here to learn about the culture of this beautiful country. When I came here, I realized that culture is very important in this country, which means that in Eswantini, there is only one tribe, one culture, one language. So I got to dress like that, you know, like I've seen that culture actually unites these people, especially the dance and the music. My name is Maya and uh, I want together and I welcome them to Eswatini. How do you say welcome in Eswatini? Siane Mugela Eswatini. Siane Mugela Eswatini. Okay, so which means welcome to the kingdom. We want to know, like, um, we realize that dance is very important mm -hmm. in this country. Yes. Why is that? Why is it so important? Exactly. In most instances, in most instances, it unites us as the nation. Most of the dances have got a uh, meaning. Uh, they, actually, I would just say everything that we do has got a reason behind, and it originates from somewhere. Originate from somewhere. From somewhere. Most of the dances they originate from some of the things which we used to do before or the ceremonies we had before. Wow. Yes. So, um, wow, this is beautiful. Yes. Very beautiful. They started already. Okay, you know what? I wanted to know, is this dance for everyone in the country? Mostly, we call this dance Omiso. It's, it's mostly done but not limited to uh, yeah. our traditional uh, uh, our traditional marriage we call it yeah. okay. we normally do it on our traditional marriage or wedding wow. yes but in some instances now in most cases it is also done in some schools where they just do it um, so, uh, we, call, we just call it um, so it's where we find boys young ones men uh, women all together but mostly we normally do this one during the traditional uh, uh, wedding traditional wedding. Wedding. Yes. Wow. Is there any other occasion? Because when I came to this country, I realized that this country has so many festivals. During festivals, do you have a specific kind of dance that you dance during festivals? During festivals? Yeah, because I attended the Marula Festival mm -hmm. here in uh, Meswantini, yes. and I realized that it's only women that were dancing. Yes. Is it the same dance that they're dancing, performing over here today? Uh, for the uh, um, so it's only it's only it's also done during uh, the, the Marula Festival. Okay. We call it Bukan Festival. It's also done, but that would be limited to women. And in our culture, we, do, we there is what we call. Uh, uh, well, let me just say we do not mix with women, uh, married women. Uh, they mainly with married women when they dance such a dance. Okay. So. so, which means that women that are not married have a different dance. Actually, not married women per se. I would say all ages. I would say uh, women who are ready to get married or women who are already married. They do go for the traditional book and ceremony. I would say so. You know what? Like I, I really want to join them. You but really want to? Yeah, I really want to join them because this is so beautiful. Yes. But I want them to exhibit what they know. Let them show us what they know. Before, what they know. Uh, exactly. Okay. Before I join. Before so, you join. Yeah, exactly. You want them to have some few dances. Some few dances. Oh, okay. okay. We'll give you. I think that's where we'll give you. Two of the dances. Okay. Yes, I think there'll be enough. It's a uh, sipaka. It's mostly done by it's done by boys. Okay. They used to do this kind of dance whenever they're going to look after cows, then compete with other boys from the neighbor. Then the other one is in Gaza, danced by girls. That's where they just lift up their legs to show their pride, to show that they are still not married. Because in our culture, a married woman cannot lift up her leg. So it will be done by girls. Okay. Yes, just showing their pride that they're still not married. Okay. It's just their dance. Yes, we're still organizing some of uh, the material. We call them tikupu drums. And uh, they'll be dancing. The boys will be dancing sipaka. Just a dance they normally do or they used to do whenever they're going to look after cows. Just in a short space of time.